and you overgive your energy towards people. That overgiving, likely, for codependence and you is never again. I want to prevent some pain. I want to stop some pain. That seems to be sort of your pattern, your impulse. Yeah, I can relate to the overgiving um, <coughs> kind of energy, like um, it's just mm -hmm. stop. Yeah, like you, you just you want to stop you some future thing, maybe. Or you want to be less helpless or something. That's a simple breakdown, but it's up to you to go into your soul and your just to add more body to this drive that is incomplete. How much of it is you? How much of it is from inherited trauma, your lineage? How much of it is your soul seed? Sometimes the goal of of Eastern thing is get empty. But maybe Eastern plus Tantra is get empty into flow, into desire, into moving states of energy instead of static states, which is one form of meditation. <clears throat> Emptiness that's just there and not doing anything. What about all the fun things of movement? <laughs> Creation or just pure destruction? What about those states? Can't you be empty and just channel those states? Like intentionally? Like choosing? the state or to relax or and surrender observing into not just observing now being an active participant to be more empty and more flowing with that energy they have the zone for sports sports athletes get into a zone and they get into some free flow relaxed state where they can have peak performance so when conditions are right, then there can be more harmony, more something, more flow. So for Pankaj, his example is he's got a lot of flow or attention towards different things that are impossible. Because he's focused on the solution or the obstacle. If you were just to focus on the, the verb, the flow, and try to Get out of the way. That's one of the pointers I said. Get out of your own way. Start there. <laughs> then once you're out of your own way, or you're out of the way of grace, then you can try to help out. Versus right now, with guilt, he's like, stop the flow and let me go control the end result. You're in the way and you're trying to dictate what's going to happen. Where the flow state and the energy already is already going a certain way. Maybe it already knows the destination. Maybe it knows the destination better than you. Maybe it knows it better than your story maker. Why are you getting in the way? The emptier you get and you let that flow, you let the energy tell you, give you guidance. It's in the act of spinning the story, you are actually in the way. I, yeah. That's playing God, which is toxic, toxic shame. I can be in the story and solutions and all that out there. That's the trap of he in here. I don't know what to do to laugh or cry. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> But to come face to face with that helplessness is too much. So people create a language of agency. They create a simple breakdown. And the neurotic types who have a lot of grief and a lot of issues, they self blame. They tend to create a language of agency that puts too much burden on themselves. Because that's a way to contain more unresolved grief. Why are you getting in the way? Start there. Then once you're out of your own way, or you're out of the way of grace, then you can try to help out. 
Why are you getting in the way?